guys a few days ago we came back from Spain it was amazing we've had a awesome long weekend which was just way too short to see everything I wanted in Barcelona but it was great nevertheless there I realized I've never shown you how I pack my 10 step Korean uh, routine into a hand luggage because that's what I normally travel with for the trip lasting anything between a few days and a couple of weeks this is the size of my cosmetics bag it's not big but that's the only space we have so I make the most out of it normally I'm packing into this kind of bag but for this trip I put it in here because we were forced to check in our hand luggage so I thought I might as well just go for a little bit more comfortable bag but all of this normally fits into a bag like this the key to fit all the cosmetics we want into a small bag like this is really simple just go really small on bottles on packaging and what I really like to use as well is to use up all the samples I get when I order cosmetics especially from Korea and Japan when you order things online you get tons of different kind of samples let's go inside and see what I took with me to Spain I'll try to go with them in the order I'm actually using so you will be able to see how many products I've taken with me I usually start my makeup removing routine with the micellar water by the way most of the cosmetics I have in here aren't in their original packaging so even though it says it's Isana, this is Bioderm Micellar Water. I usually forget to take the pads, so I'm glad this time I didn't. Next step is an oil cleansing. I like to use this bottle with a dispenser. It's so much more efficient this way. Then comes the face wash. It's empty now, but I used to have my Shiseido Perfect Whip in here. After washing a face, I apply Hadalabo. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I always have it with me. After this, I have the sample of this um, Shiseido White Loosened Essence. It's quite alright. It's really expensive normally, so I don't know if I will buy it because it's okay, but I don't really see much difference after using it. But that's why you use samples, so you find out that it's not good. Ah, hang on, I forgot that I also have these two samples of Vichy face wash, just in case I run out of my other face wash. I also forgot I have the toner so it's not gonna be quite in order but I use the toner after washing before the essence and you've seen this one before is a Polish brand every magic rose toner for face. So next I also have a couple of samples Oops. <gasps> sorry it ran away one is by Skin Food it's Aqua Grape Bounce Essence Lotion and another sample I'm currently trying is by the brand I've never heard before. It's called Yop or Yopi. It's a hyaluronic emulsion. It's from Korea as well. I got it as a sample with some of my cosmetics I ordered online. So um, it's all right, nothing special. For the end, I have the red Hadalabo milk in the little jar after a cream from Clinique, so that's not the original packaging, but it's uh, very handy for the milk because it has a little bit of creamy consistency. Here I also have uh, just a grapeseed oil for either face massage or for body oil and also for removing the remainings of the eye makeup if I still happen to have anything left after washing my face with these products. Uh, I have a emergency night cream just in case I need a super moisture but as you see it hasn't been opened and I have a hair bubble and at the end is my sunscreen I'm looking for a perfect daily SPF this year so this is one of my uh, testing products uh, this is Innisfree daily UV protection cream with SPF 35 PA++ I really like this one and I think 
I'm pretty confident I found my top three sunscreens, but I'll make a separate video about it. That's all the cosmetics I carry in my hand luggage, but I will also show you that I have uh, another set of different um, bathroom essentials that I don't include in, a, in this little cosmetic bag because it can be carried separately. And these are uh, my shower cup, of course. Not everyone uses shower cup, but I find it totally essential because my hair get very frizzy if I don't cover them under the shower. Uh, and inside I have my gloves. Also, I have a soap. When I travel, it's more handy to have a proper soap rather than a um, shower gel. If I only go for a few days, then I try to wash my hair the day I'm traveling, so I don't have to wash it while I'm away. But for longer trips, I either use uh, samples again, or I use a shampoo in a bar. They are not totally great because all of them I've used so far have this ingredient called SLS which my hair just don't handle very well. An option is also to buy a shampoo at the Arrival. I do it sometimes, but I, you know, whenever I can, I try to bring cosmetics from home because I've got loads of them here. So that was everything I carried with me. Uh, I don't think anything was particularly groundbreaking, but I thought to share it with you so you know exactly what I'm using and how I'm packing for my travels. Have a great day, everybody. I'll catch you later. Bye bye.